TA, more problems for the commuter rail. This comes on top of this morning's derailment. WBZ's Christina Hager is live at North Station in Boston tonight with the trouble on the tracks. Christina? Well, Paula, it's power outages that are causing delays on the commuter rail here, especially on the Haverhill and Lowell lines. Some trains canceled, leaving people inside waiting, hoping to catch the next train. Also, there are lingering effects of a derailment in Wilmington this morning. It took a crane to get this train back on the rails after storm debris on the tracks caused a derailment. One passenger snapped a shot of a car leaning to the side. It was like a speed bump. George Redding was commuting to work in Boston. I'm sleeping like I normally do and just felt like a speed bump. Woke up, everyone was panicking and looked down, see the tree. Keolis Cruz took pictures. Spokesperson Tori Mazzola. And it actually appears at this point that it dragged a large piece of a branch for several hundred feet, if not more, on the tracks. And as that branch approached a switch, it became wedged in that switch. The train evacuated. Redding and fellow passengers boarded shuttle buses to Boston. A Keolis crew took this video of the crane in action, re-railing the train. We went past uh, the train that had been derailed. Trains were still able to run around the disabled car that sat for hours, but the delays linger. It's about uh, an hour and 40 minutes to come in instead of about 40. Got to work a couple hours late, but things happen. Well, Keolis and the MBTA have brought in a network of generators to power the lines through the evening commute, but hey, there is no way around this. For some people, it is going to be a long wait. At North Station, Christina Hager, WBZ News.